you watch me assemble the laser. Laser actually is actually lasering. It took hours upon hours to get this to happen. He's not joking. I'm really not. I wish I was joking. I'm talking six, seven hours. Well, you get on this little USB thumbnail, you get the button box software. You plug it into your computer and um, it doesn't work. So I thought the button box software was garbage, but um, so I went online, I searched for software, I got some T2 laser software, but um, they won't drive the motors for some reason. I'm sure it's something I did wrong because it wanted me to totally reboot something and I wasn't. And I wasn't um, comfortable doing that. Um, no, that won't expand just so you guys can touch it up. I can pull it down here. Well, what we're actually making, if you come here and look quick, is the Punisher. It's actually coming along pretty nice. It's been doing it for 15 minutes. I still got to tinker with the settings. But anyways, so T2 laser I downloaded. I couldn't get that to work. Laser. It's a gerbil. It's G-R-B-L. Uh... Yeah, I couldn't get that to download. I couldn't get that to work either. I'm sure all, it's all my own fault. I probably did something wrong in all of them. What I ended up doing is I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Saw a guy on YouTube. I can't remember his name. I'll list it below. He actually had a tutorial saying how he remotely fixed somebody's. And what it ended up being was bad software. So I said, huh, I wonder. It took me uninstalling this software and loading and unloading four or five different versions before I finally got a version that worked. And now it's working. But you have to install your drivers first. You have to run the program as the administrator. When it says open and run, you got to pick run it as an administrator so you can have more control over it. But before you even do that, you got to install the drivers. And another thing I learned on the second video, I showed the Y was plugged in over here because that's the video I, the information I found. It doesn't work there. It has to be plugged in right next to the X. Who's to know? I did see on that video it was a 50 50 crap shot. I guessed wrong, but I had I showed you the video that, or the picture that said that's where it went, but that picture's wrong for this model at least. Um, and so after monkeying around, I finally got software that worked, and I still can't get it to work. And my son monkey with it and got it to work. Yep. I won't take his credit. I he still has to show me what he did different than I did because I tried everything and. So once we figure that out, then maybe we'll make a video on how to operate this stupid betting box software. But before you buy any software, like Laser T2 Laser has a free trial version. I would definitely try that first, and they actually encourage you to try that. Laser GBRL or whatever it is, Gerbil, is free. Like I said, I might play with that software some more to see if I could figure it out. Just out of more of a curiosity. Um, but this this is actually the betting box. It's just I wished that the betting box software on here had worked right. Yeah. But it saved me days of monkeying around. Yeah, and I think we should just say two disclaimers quick. Uh, if you have the laser burner that comes with the betting box, uh, they say this should only burn between 30 minutes to up to an hour. Yeah. And make sure you're wearing eye protection. Yeah, make sure you make sure you get these fashionable green shades on. One pair will come with it. Then you can always buy extra pairs for like $7 a pair for Amazon. Sure, eBay has them too. But, um, yeah, and uh, one thing, uh, just for the people who uh, get their glasses for the first time, we're warning for... From what we might I know, it when you take them off, everything will have like a shade of pink at first until your eyes readjust for some bizarre reason. And you can also see where I actually did go and buy the plastic holder for this wire, like I was talking about. Got that at Harbor Freight, got like a 25 foot roll for less than $3. 
I think it'd be well worth the investment to protect that water. But so it is up and running. We'll do a um, instructional video on the software, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of people that have them on there already. Maybe I just think a link to his. I don't know. But, um, but this is the start of our Punisher. Yeah, the Punisher is coming along. You see the crown of his head. So, and I think we're gonna be okay on this. I mean, they do say only oh, have it run half hour to hour, but. I think that is also, it, it depends on how intense, like that's, the intensity on that set at 55, it goes up a lot higher than that. Yeah, and I think it means like the default one, which is like 250. Yeah, I think it was, it was like 255. Well, we had the paper somewhere around the computer. Yeah, it was 255. But I also think it also depends on like if you, like, where's you, where you just burning an outline? I think if, you, if you're burning it all black, it would probably be... A lot harder on it. Yeah. And it would need to rust in between, but so far we're just letting it run. Yeah, so the two things we're just going to say is outlines and intensity and speed are the three biggest things for this. The outlines will be quicker because they don't have to burn the entire head. And speed will uh, change, depending on how oh. fast you go, it will uh, chain... Up, let's see, we're starting to get a little bit of the eyes. Yeah, I was just gonna say, he's just beginning to do the eyeball on one side, it looks like. So. But yeah, it took some playing around with, burnt through a piece of paper, burnt a hole oh. in this board on the other side, quarter inch thick. Um, like I said, you definitely don't want to just turn this sucker on and leave it alone. Yeah. Or at least not until you're got it set up right, because first time we had the Y motor when it moved so we burnt or put a hole right into the wood probably could have burnt the house down if you weren't here paying attention if you were yeah so be very vigilant of it uh, for your first runs yeah. and what's cool here is on this program you it's got like a little blue dot that actually shows you where it's working yeah so it tells you that it's working on that eye and oh it's starting the other one too yeah that's pretty cool but anyways, I just wanted to show you a video that it is up and running. You might have to download two or three times the software, but definitely make sure you install the drivers first. It makes a huge difference. And the drivers instinctively want to install on D drive, D as in dog. On a lot of laptops, that's actually your CD-ROM. So you have to go in and manually force it onto the local C drive or else it won't install. Yep. But anyways, just wanted to show a quick video of it. It is working. Yep. Thank and, you for watching. And uh, leave a like and smash that subscribe button.